Concerns are growing about the rapid spread of the Zika virus. The World Health Organization says the virus, which is believed to have caused brain damage in babies in Brazil, will spread to nearly all of the countries in the Americas. Officials in El Salvador now are suggesting women delay getting pregnant until 2018. Don't get pregnant for two years, women. And now the United States is trying to prevent the virus from gaining a toehold here at home. Dr. Tara Shirazian is an OBGYN at NYU Langone Medical Center and the president and co-founder of Saving Mothers, which works to eliminate uh, preventable causes of maternal deaths globally. I mean, you're basically in some of these countries trying to make birth safe for the babies and the moms, and Zika virus comes in, and if babies uh, are exposed to it in their mother's utero, what, they get microencephaly? Absolutely. It's very, very scary. In many of the countries where we currently work, um, such as Guatemala, where we're on ground taking care of pregnant women, providing them with safe births, making sure they deliver in hospitals. Uh, these women basically have no access to care. They have no access to ultrasounds, which we now are doing here for women who we think have been exposed. So they're not going to have any test for Zika virus to know whether they have it before they get pregnant? Absolutely not. What about contraception? Is that even a possibility? Contraception's not a possibility. I think in most places, especially rural places, there's just no access to family planning in the ways that we understand it here in the U.S. So El Salvador is saying no one should get pregnant for two years. Um, the reality is there's no contraception for many women to not get pregnant. We were just talking about the Hawaii baby, the first child born in the United States who's been exposed to Zika um, in utero. Her mother had, had traveled a parent. Her mother had Zika virus. So what do you do to try and prevent babies from being born with irreparable brain damage. It's very, very scary. The CDC currently has issued guidelines and recommendations for OBGYNs in the United States. So if women come back from travel to these countries, um, they've been in these countries within the last two weeks and they have symptoms like fever and joint pain and conjunctivitis and a rash, they definitely should be tested and there is PCR testing. But in terms of preventing the virus or vaccine against the virus, we don't have any of that at, at our disposal. I mean, are at they time. at the point like if a mom came to you early yes. in her pregnancy and had Zika virus, would you be um, counseling her about terminating her pregnancy? So that is an option, um, and they are saying that if you have contracted the Zika virus in the first trimester of pregnancy, that you know you you could consider that 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 is in in consideration termination. But World Health Organization, I mean, are they drawing a conclusive link between? Zika virus and, and d brain damage? Not exactly, not yet, because we don't fully understand all of the clinical manifestations of Zika virus, and that's really the reality. But what we're doing is um, we basically are providing ultrasounds for women continuously if we think they've been exposed. Every three to four weeks, women are having scans of their babies to see if there's microcephaly or to see if there's any evidence. But that's not prevention. Is there a safe point in the pregnancy where if you got Zika virus, it really it would not affect? N not that we know. Not that we know. I can't, I mean, what we're talking about in terms of scope, the Olympics are going to Rio, you're talking about travel warnings to the places that we all love to travel, to say nothing of the Absolutely. women that you're dealing with who have no access even to safe birth in the first place, much less trying to prevent pregnancy because of Zika. Absolutely. I mean, for many of us who have, have lived in the United States, who've traveled to these countries, who've been pregnant in the past, you know, it is astounding. Wait, did it just think. come out of nowhere? No, it's, it's actually been around, and it's unclear as to why now we're seeing such dramatic clinical manifestations of Zika virus, but it's been around since 1947 when it was first discovered. Dr. Shirazian, thank you so much for coming on with us. Really terrifying for so many people, but especially for uh, pregnant women. Thanks. Absolutely.